I'll make this short, simple, and sweet today. It's a 2009, I believe it's 2009, maybe 2010, Honda Accord. <clears throat> Customer complaint was they just had this brand new battery put in and it was a no start, right? So immediately, what do I do? I try to put my jump box on there and see if it get power. Put the jump box on there, no power, right? No power on the inside at all. Uh, when I went to go hit the key, absolutely nothing, right? So, what that led me to believe was that this car was having um, some type of fried issue. I thought it was maybe something else, but from my dealings with Hondas before, it's always something simple. Simple as a relay, something simple as a, a fuse. <clears throat> Don't ever get discouraged or something like that. And you run to the big dogs, and the big dogs charge you five hundred dollars for something so simple. Okay. So because I had already figured it out, I was gonna do a, like a how-to tutorial. I was gonna diagnose it with you guys. Well, a, a diagnostic video, but I already figured it out yesterday. Picked up the part this morning, right? So. What I did was I started testing all these fuses, saying that we're getting power here, so we know, and of course that she's getting power, and that's a steady 12 volts. See that? Steady 12 volts while the car is off, right? It's getting ground, it's getting 12 volts, meaning the battery is good, right? There's no parasitic draw to have it dead like that, right? So it can only be one cause. And the main cause in these Hondas is a, a battery main fuse, okay? And from what the customer was telling me is somebody put the battery in, but little did they know these batteries are so small, so people have a hard time like paying attention to it. Oh, no, I can't say that. People just not paying attention. Somebody put the battery in wrong, and when you did that, he fried the battery main fuse. If it wasn't for this fuse right here, whoever put it in would have popped. The, oh, well, would have fried it, the, either a BCM or a PCM, and that's thousands of dollars worth of... Uh, of a fix, right? So, what I did was I came and tested it to make sure that my theory was right, right? So, on this side, hold on. Let's put that in there. This side is getting 12 volts. This side is not, right? It's getting low voltage, beyond low voltage, right? So, let's pull it up by right okay? So, like I said, always do a thorough diagnostic first, okay? And what do we have there? Popped battery main fuse, okay? So, my theory is correct. We'll put this in there. If you're on the Honda, you already know that when the key is in ignition, you'll hear that beeping noise, right? So, the key is in ignition. Brand new Honda part from Honda. Let me get that part number for you guys. Oh Lord, I ripped it up. Let me see. That is the part number right there. For the battery main fuse for this particular model. Honda Accord, I'll put it on. Put it in link for Amazon and you know the Honda specific part in the description. But all right, let's see. Oh, we gotta put that down now. Gotta tie it in there.
like that. What do you hear? Fire's coming on. All right. So let's give her a go. We got pile all in here. Well, lights not all up. There you go. All right, let's do. And there it is. Woo. Just like that. Simple, easy fix. They pull it all apart. This customer got it feels about. 